Welcome to the morecalculators.com tutorial for the calorie calculator with calorie consumption charts. At morecalculators.com we have over 20 different free calculators to help you with buying a car, buying a home, renting a home, estimating your taxes, making a budget, calculating your income, and investing in real estate. We invite you to try our calculators today at morecalculators.com. Now, to get to our calorie calculator with calorie consumption chart, just go to our homepage and scroll until you see the calorie calculator. Now, you'll want to click on the one that says calorie consumption chart, and you'll see we are now at the calorie calculator with calorie consumption chart. Now it's going to ask us for some information, and we'll go through these together. First, it's going to ask you for your weight in pounds. So we're going to go with 190. The next thing here is it's going to ask for what's called an activity factor. This is a number between 20 and 80, generally speaking. However, it can be any number that you choose. And here are the guidelines. 20 to 40, not active, all the way up to 60 or 80, which is active. And if you're outside those uh, levels, you think, then go ahead and adjust accordingly. For our example, we're going to enter 50. Now the next part here is a chart that tells you calorie burn factor for various exercises. Now these numbers are not set in stone. You can use any number that you wish. Now where you use these numbers is in the next section. It's asking you for weekly exercise information. So what you want to do is enter your exercises, the burn factor, which you can get from the chart above, and you can change it if you want, and in the hours per week that you use for the exercise. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to enter several common exercises, and then I'll be right back. Okay, so you'll see here I've entered several exercises, their burn factors, and how long I spend on the exercises. Now the burn factor, like I said, can be changed to any number you choose. So I could lower that if I walk slower, or increase that if I bike faster or harder. Okay, so those are the exercises. And then we have several blanks so you can enter your exercises. The next part is daily calorie consumption. Now you have to be careful because the first part was weekly exercises. This part is daily calorie consumption. And you can be as generic or as specific as you wish. We have lots of fields uh, that you can enter in. And we're asking you for the food, the calories, and you can also enter notes if you'd like. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to enter several different foods and then I'll be right back. Okay, so you'll see here that I've entered several foods. Um, I've kind of skipped breakfast. Nah, probably half the people skip it, half the people eat it. So I just went ahead and skipped it. So you'll see I've got lunch, dinner, snack, soda, and social events. Now for lunch, I've got 800 calories. Dinner, I've got 800 calories. Snacks, 400 calories. Soda, 450 calories, which is three cans of pop per day. And then social events. I know you don't have a social event every day. So what I did is I try to average it out. Three social events over seven days. So that's where the 225 came in. So now that I have my exercise in, my calories in, I'll go ahead and check on the box for the disclaimer. And now, it gives me a couple charts. The first chart tells me my calories, consumed, burned, and then a gain or loss. In this example, this guy is pretty active, so he's losing calories. So that means he would lose weight. Um, and then what it does is it converts it to pounds. Okay, so you can see uh, this guy would probably lose 9.25 pounds per month. Now, the important part of this chart is an actual chart. So what you can see here is use this chart to spot any trends in a diet. Okay, so you see the blue parts here. The dark blue is snacks, the light blue is sodas. So what you might see is that maybe if I reduce snack and soda consumption and drink water or something else instead, that maybe um, I could cut down some calories. Okay, so that's what one may be able to derive from this chart. Then it tells you 
how many of your calories are burned by exercise and how many are burned by your body just kind of doing what it does normally. Then it says down further, weekly calorie consumption. So basically it lists out all the foods and it lists them by percentage. So again, you might be able to spot some trends in your diet um, by looking at the percentages. Probably a lot easier if you just look at the chart above. Okay, and then it adds everything up daily and weekly. And then weekly calorie usage and burn. Um, what this is, is it lists out your exercises that you entered as well as your resting metabolic rate, which is the calories your body burns by doing what it normally does without any real exercise. Okay? And that's that. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go back and make a couple changes. Let's say 170 pounds. Let's say reduce our activity level. Okay, we'll reduce some exercises here. Okay, I'm gonna take out the, uh, I'm gonna walk less. Uh, take out two of the other exercises. Okay, scroll down, click on submit. And you'll see now that I've taken out some exercises. Okay. Um, we have a calorie gain, but as you can see, when you look at the pounds chart, that it's actually really kind of a maintenance. So um, you could pro probably hold steady. You know, you see 0 0.22, that's just, you know, anything around 0 to 0 0.5. It's probably just kind of maintaining more than anything else. So, and then if we say, if we drank a little bit more soda per day, um, had some more snacks, um, and then our meals had a few more calories. Okay, so we have the same meals, lunch, lunch and dinner, 900 calories, snacks, 600 calories, soda, 700 calories, um, and social events, 225. Then we'll scroll down, click on submit again, and you'll see now, I'm just gonna go straight to the pound chart. You'll see that on a monthly basis we would gain. And then you'll see here, the blue parts of the chart could be our trends. We're eating, in this particular chart, we're, we have as much soda as one of our meals, okay? So the blue parts, the dark blue is snacks, the light blue is soda, okay? So that's basically um, the calorie calculator with calorie consumption chart. If you have questions for us at morecalculators.com, we invite you to visit our homepage and then click on the morecalculators.com help center. Thank you for watching and have a great day.